Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this. This is called FET. It is the uh, Simple Circuit Construction Kit from uh, the University of Colorado. And this is the screen. Now you have two choices here. You have the pictorial representation and you have the schematic representation. And basically these are all going to be simple resistance devices. So if we wanted to start out and teach somebody or show somebody or figure out for yourself how a circuit works, well, we can get a battery. We can get a light bulb. Um, we can get a switch. And then we can wire them all together. something like this you can see it's pretty intuitive so now we have our circuit and if we close the switch the light goes on. We have a couple of rudimentary things here. We have an ammeter so we can measure current. And we also have a voltmeter so we can measure the voltage at different points in the circuit. So all in all, you know, it's, it's a super simple little thing and it works out pretty well. We can switch over to the schematic representations and see what's happening here. Or we can go back to the pictorial representations. So we've all we've really done here is created a basic circuit. But let's add a little bit to it. Now when we ran this circuit and we put our ammeter in here at our bulb, we saw it's drawing 90 milliamps or 900 milliamps rather yeah 900 milliamps 0.9 amps so what if we don't want that much current what if we want you know half of that say 40 45 well let's get rid of this wire let's bring in a resistor and then we'll even throw in an inline voltmeter how's that work for you then we'll get one more piece of wire put on here connect it to here boom Look at that. Our simple 10 ohm resistor cut our power down to 45 milliamps, 450 milliamps. Can we cut it down even more? We, want, we wanted 0.4, right? 400 milliamps, what we wanted. I feel like we're going the wrong way there, Paul. You big dummy. There we go. That's better. And you can see the resistor color codes are changing here as well. So we're going to get down to around 12 ohms, I think. There we go. 12.4 ohms. You can see the speed of the electrons in the simulation is also a slowed down. And then we can play around with this. We can see well, what happens if we go up to 100 ohms. We can see the electrons are now moving very slowly. We've got uh, 0.08 amps and the light bulb is barely bit, lit. Let's take it out of 50 ohms. Or, you know, somewhere in that area. And you can see we're at 160 milliamps. The light bulb is somewhat lit, taking down the 15 ohms, you know. You get the idea. So let's remove some of this stuff from here and we'll try something a little bit different. As we come down through here to our next page, we get a high voltage battery. Now this battery is a thousand volts. So we'll bring him in 
and let's bring in a fuse this time too and let's wire up our battery to our fuse then to the switch now we've got a light bulb 10 ohms let's make it 100 ohms So we got a thousand volts at a hundred ohms. How many amps is that going to give us in our little circuit here? Ten amps, right? And what's our fuse? Four amps. Here, let's take out this wire here and bring in our bring in our ammeter. Ready, one, two, three, here we go. Fuse gonna blow. Boom. Yes, indeed it did. So, we knew it was going to, because it's only, there's our reset. It's only a four amp fuse. So, what if it's a 10 amp fuse? We're doing 10 amps, right? What'll happen now? Place your bets, folks. We're right there. We're at 10 amps and everything is rolling fine. But if we change it just a little bit, kapow, it's gone. So I would recommend I would recommend the engineer's way. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. And make it 12 ohms. Gives you about a 20 per or 12 amps. That'll give us about a 20% boost. And our bulb is good. But, what if you don't want to be pushing 12 amps through your circuit? Well, then I guess we're back to a resistor, aren't we? So let's get ourselves a resistor. Put it in here. Put it in here like this. See if we can't make this a little neater. No, I guess we can't. So our resistor is 10 ohms. What's our bulb? 100 ohms. So they're in series. They're both resistances. So now we're going to be at 110 ohms and we're pulling 9.09 .09 amps. But let's say we want to get that down to 2 amps. Well then we're going to need to increase our resistance, aren't we? Uh-oh. The biggest resistor we can get is 120 ohms. And we're only we're we're still two and a half times higher than we need to be. What do we do? Well, we can put in another resistor. Let me knock out this here. And get rid of the bulb as well. We'll bring in another resistor. Then we'll bring our bulb back. And we need a piece of wire to connect it in. So now we're at 7.14. And look at that, our two resistors in series, 120 ohms, 120 ohms, is still not enough to reduce that. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we could just do it again and again and again. But that's the beauty of something like this. Instead of blowing out your circuits, you can just come in here and play with stuff till you get what you want. So let's knock out our bulb. Bang. And we'll bring in one more resistor. Will one be enough? Nobody knows. I mean, you could do the math and figure it out, but <laughs> we're just playing. Try and give you an idea of, you know, what it might be like. So we have 120, 240, 360. 
we're almost there we need one more right uh, I meant to cut it in the other place can I still cut it there yeah there we go Rid of that too bring up one more resistor max him out bring in our wire where are we at now 2.04 amp here's our final resistor 120 120 120 120 so we have 480 that's pretty close but you get the idea so we still got our our thousand volt battery here what else can we put some current through oh do we have some higher yeah we did I totally missed that my bad well we got a dog can we put some current through a dog What's the, uh, that's not going to tell me, huh? All right, let's hook this up. Let's hook you up here, dog. <coughs> oh, dog said no. <laughs> and what will happen here? <coughs> dog said no. Do not hook your dog up to a 1,000 volts, folks. What about a pencil? Can you hook a pencil up to a 1,000 volts? Oh yeah, but that makes for some uh, current, doesn't it? 40 amps. Again, this is just silliness, but it gives you an idea of current flow. It gives you an idea of how components work together, and it's free. I'll put a link to it down below. You want to kill some time? Play with it. You know, what can you say? If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.